In this video, I am going to show you this quadratic equation from testdome.com. Okay, let's have a look. This is a C++ entry level. Basically, it requires us to get the solution of x1 and x2 of this quadratic equation, where value of a and b and c will be passed through the arguments of this function find root. First, it will pass a, b, c as the arguments in the function, and then we need to return a pair. That means two values, both of the first and second. That is root dot first means class of root, and then inside the root, we search for the variable first. Similar way for the second as well. Okay, let's copy this to our local environment. This is my Visual Studio C++. Here will be more convenient. Can you remember the formula? This is basically the formula. Uh, that means there are two variables. What would it be data type? It would be double. Because later we are going to see the square root. Uh, some data would be loose if we use integer. First we use double. Okay. And now first let's, let's figure out what is the stuff inside this square root. So to get this, we can use a function in build with uh, C++ is called a square root. So we declare variable square. So that square root is sqrt. We can just put whatever inside, then it is equals to root whatever. Okay, so what should be put? Square of b minus 4 times a times c, right? Similar way for square of b, we can use another function, pow, b, then comma 2. That then means b power 2. Okay. Then this value should be what? It should be minus 4 times a times c, right? So minus 4 times a times c. So that would be the, the stuff inside square. And then we are going to find xa. But in the function, it is called first. So now let's declare the variable first. Minus b. And let's, let's put a bracket. Minus b. Plus square and then divide by 2 times a. Easy. Similarly, double second is equal to what? Minus b minus square and uh, likewise 2 times a, right? And now, very important, how can we return? Because we, we can't just say simply return first but if we return first what about the second or if we return the second it won't work right or else should we try to return this one first or second oh it seems to work but actually it's not working so now very importantly there is std i thought std make this is the way how to return two variables together. First, second, done. done. Now let's try to run it. See, it doesn't work under the. So, how to solve this? Let's just put this in command. Yeah, it works. And now we can just we can try to put this here and run it. Yeah, we cannot identify P O W. So okay, no problem because we have used the mathematic function, right? So here we just include a single map. Let's try it again. See it works. Alright, thanks so much for following my video and see you in my next video. Bye bye.